Hey guys, welcome to Chariot Palmistry. Today we're going to be talking about the bow symbol in palmistry. And we're also going to look at its variation, the bow and arrow. Now this is what the bow looks like. It's kind of like a D shape. And its palmistry meaning is that it's wisdom which gives you protection from your enemies. And it leads to a large amount of wealth and some fame later on in life. There is a variation of this sign and that's if you get a line running through the middle of it. And we'd call that the bow and arrow. And the appearance of a bow and arrow together, it's a symbol of divine protection. And you get that from following through from your religious duty. And it helps to overcome some of the resistance from the previous bow sign. So if you think of the bow as giving you protection from within, the bow and arrow gives you protection from above. Now that's the general meaning of the bow and it will hold that meaning anywhere it's found on the hand. But there are a couple places where it has extra special meaning. For example, if the bow's on the Saturn line, then that means it's internal energy, a self-sabotage that's going to be overcome to produce the general results. If the bow and arrow turns up on Mercury, then that means your enemies are going to be in your professional life. And it also means that you'll still overcome them and get some degree of fame. By the way, this is a great sign if you're a researcher or a scientist. The other thing I want to say about the bow is you've got to look at the cluster of signs that this one turns up with. On a lot of hands where you see the bow or the bow and arrow, also have a look to see if there's a lotus sign, a fish sign, or the sword sign. These four symbols generally work together, so you know those enemies that the bow protects you from? They'll turn up in the form of a sword on your hand. So the sword sign or the sword symbol basically means there's enemies or obstructions in your life and the bow is what gives you protection from those enemies. Now after you get that protection, then the lotus sign and the fish sign turn up on your hand. The lotus and fish give you prosperity and wealth, and I've got videos on these symbols on my channel page, so check that out if you want to learn more about them. But these signs do work together in this way. Alright guys, that's my take on the bow symbol and also the bow and arrow in palmistry. If you have any questions, put them in this comment section below. Otherwise, check out my book called The Dictionary of Indian Palmistry Symbols. Thanks a lot.